All right, congrats, you're here on day two. I hope it was an effective exercise to journal yesterday for you. If you took it seriously, it was. I know it was. I do this all day, every day. Your second step of this mini summit is acceptance. Yesterday, we focused on bringing awareness. Today, we're bringing acceptance. Again, focusing on mindset, nutrition, and physiology. Today, I want you to accept your trauma. Face what you have gone through. Have you endured abuse? Either from yourself or from outside? In our human world, I would guess more than likely you probably have. I don't want you to compare it to anyone else's experience, anyone else's trauma. Just because you didn't almost die from it doesn't mean it wasn't traumatic. Trauma is anything negative that resurfaces repeatedly throughout your life that is an inhibiting factor to your growth. I have someone really close to me whose parents got divorced once she had several kids. Um, she was older, developed life, but her parents got divorced. She sided with her mom. And um, I'm aware enough of the story to know that it went both ways, but she chose her mom's side and that's okay. You know, if that's the choice she made, that's the choice she made. Her dad never beat her, never, you know, yelled at her, condemned her. You know, I'm sure there was emotional manipulation or abuse on multiple levels as a child, I'm sure that came from her mother's side as well, even though she chose to stand by her mom in the end. Um, so even that where like she wasn't physically or sexually abused, she went through some difficult things there as a child and witnessed her parents not have a very good relationship. I think this is pretty common. And then by the time she was, you know, a, a mid-adult, they got divorced. And this person this that I'm aware of, um, she can't even look at her dad. She can't accept a phone call from her dad. She can't have a conversation with her dad without completely falling apart emotionally. Now, I'm not saying that she's not justified in those in those behaviors or in that result. I'm not blaming her or casting shame anywhere. That's, that's okay. That's her response. But I'm saying there's nothing particularly abnormal about that story. But it, and someone could have gone through, indeed many people have gone through very similar things and it's not nearly as traumatic of an effect on them. And that's okay too. But I'm saying your trauma is whatever evokes deep sadness, rage, a sense of unfairness, and a, a strong, powerful emotional response. These usually, the traumas usually come from interpersonal relationships and hurt that results from those interactions a feeling of betrayal, that trauma manifests itself in your life in so many ways. It manifests in your physical health, your mental health, your emotional states, what you eat, what you don't eat. It impacts your relationships now. So I want you to accept your trauma for what it is and realize that it has a real impact on you. With regards to nutrition, I want you to be really honest with yourself about accepting what you eat and realizing that you choose what you eat. I'm not condemning you. I don't want to make you feel guilty. I want you to accept 
that you are empowered to make nutritional choices and that you have a ton of resources at your disposal to be able to make helpful nutritional choices for your lifestyle to support you, to add value to you, to who you are and what you are. This ties in with my focus for today of your physiology. Accept your physiology, accept the way you look, accept the fact that your body is going to ebb and flow and change over time. And instead of being afraid of that, just realize that that is true. And accept that it's okay for changes to happen. Accept that there are things about your body that you can influence and others, very few, that you cannot influence. You may not be able to drop, click, copy, and paste exactly the way you want to look. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying you have empowerment to be able to influence every aspect of your body. And with a holistic approach to your health and wellness, you can optimize the function, grace, and strength of your being. You can have a body that you love. When people say, oh, my program can give you the body of your dreams, they're typically dreaming either about a past, they're encouraging them to, encouraging you to dream about a past form of your body, which has undergone significant changes since then, and that's unrealistic, nor is it helpful. Or they're encouraging you to dream about someone else's bodily reality being imposed on yours. And that's not helpful either. You need to be invigorated about the body you have right now and how you can optimize that for your current state and moving forward. Never moving backwards. Oh, this is what I weighed in high school. I wish I weighed that again. Why? So that is what I want you to examine. Write down what is your why of fitness or physiology. If it's only to look a certain way, you're not going to hit it. If you do hit it, it'll likely be a nightmare, not a dream. I see it all the time, every day. Write down what traumas you need to face and how that trauma is manifesting in your life. Write down what are your food sources and write down what is your why of fitness. I want you to accept the reality and your inclusion in those things that you wrote, write down. Look at that page and take it in and realize that you have a purpose and you have abilities to influence those things. More to come tomorrow. Stay tuned. <laughs>